Hey everyone, this is Heath, the Batman Geek, and you're watching Ask the Batman Geek. Today's question comes from Mike at blog.mikemoon.net. So take it away, Mike. In the TV show that I watched as a child growing up, how did they explain, or did they explain, how Bruce Wayne came upon his, his money? In the TV show, did they explain what happened to his parents? And also, did they explain in the TV show what his parents or what his dad did or his parents did to get all their fortune? That's an excellent question, Mike. And as a matter of fact, in the pilot episode of the 66 TV series, Bruce Wayne can be heard commenting the following. My resources are behind you and full. You're a real champion, Mr. Wayne. Indeed you are. Don't mention it, Mr. Harris. Perhaps if there had been anti-crime centers of the type you now propose when my own parents were murdered by dastardly criminals. <laughs> That's Alfred. Now, since the 66 series was a lighthearted, kid-friendly romp, they didn't want to explore the darker aspects of Batman's origin. So, for the most part, this is about as far as the extent that they went to it. There was Bruce Wayne mentioned his parents being killed and murdered a few other times during the series, but it, like I said, they didn't go into great detail. Now, as far as his parents' wealth... Um, they never really did explore that either. There was a comment one point in time where Aunt Harriet said something about the Wayne's founding the Skull and Bones, but again, that was about the extent of it. Now, as far as comic books are concerned, however, one of the best stories that explores the early years of Batman, in my opinion, is Batman Year One by Frank Miller. Um, as a matter of fact, I would argue that's probably the last good Frank Miller superhero story that he's created, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, Mike, thanks a lot for the question. I hope you found it enlightening. And this is Heath's... What was that? Oh, that's right. Mike also asked my opinion on something. So take it away, Mike. There were three, I believe, cat women in the TV series. In your opinion, which was the best cat woman in the TV series? Mike, i got to be honest with you. For me... There is only one, one TV cat woman, and that is <whistles> Julie Newmar. <laughs> Lee Mayweather and Eartha Kitt uh, were fantastic as well, great ladies, but for me growing up, I have to say that it was definitely, definitely Julie Newmar. She, I had the honor of meeting her during the Motor City Con last year, and she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Also got a chance to meet Lee Mayweather. Lee Merriweather as well. She was fantastic. Uh, they're both fantastic ladies, a lot of fun, but as a kid growing up, it is definitely... Man, did, I mean, come on, did you see the hips on her? Man. For a young man, she was definitely... Um, <laughs> she was hot. <laughs> anyway, this is Heath, the Batman Geek, and I want to thank Mike for being the first person to send me in a question, and for that honor, Mike, I'm going to send you... Something. So, anyway, this is Heath, the Batman Geek, signing off till next time. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> <laughs>